Hey y'all, this is Jessica from Bless Your Heart. Let's do a sunset tumbler with a tree silhouette line. We're gonna try to ombre these four paint colors. There's just a navy, a red, an orange, and a yellow. This technique I saw Sippy Couture do on her, one of her lives or her Facebook page or something. I uh, thought I would try it out. We'll see if it'll work. As you can see, we're starting with the navy and we're bringing it down just a little bit and we're gonna see if we can get the blend going. Next is gonna be the red that we're gonna put right up next to the blue. We're not gonna put it right on it until we try to go in and blend it. It'll make a lot of purple if we do blend it too much, but I think that'll be okay. Now onto the orange, and like you can see, we're kind of almost making lines, but we'll go back in, and you can see right there that I'm kind of going up a little bit. Next will be the yellow, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky. I am cleaning my brush off between the colors at this moment in time. I think once I, it's all said and done, I quit cleaning the brush off just to kind of help with that blend, but it's not super hard, but it's one of those things that you, it's just a lot of back and forth. I'm pretty sure this is when I quit cleaning my brush off and I'm just going in and kind of going back over all of that, trying to get that blend a little bit better. We're gonna glitter over all this stuff so it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want a base for all of that to kind of adhere to and so it doesn't look so transparent. You can't see so much stainless steel. That's really all I'm going for. Then you wanna do the blue and then go back with the red and see where that purple is, where we blended the blue and the red. It's not a big deal. Like I said, we're gonna have glitter over it. But you kinda of end up blending and mixing the colors, trying to get it. You can spend all day trying to make this perfect. It's never gonna be perfect. You just want it to be balanced and you just want it to be pleasing to your eye. For our glitter application, we're gonna use the epoxy method and I am going to use a little bit more than normal because I'm gonna be using a few glitters here and we want them all to kind of stick. This first one is from Create by Firefly. It's called Pinstripes. This is gonna be our deep blue and we're just gonna go heavy on that top rim and kind of just ombre it down. Just kind of fade it the best way you can. This next one is Aged Amber from The Glitter Guide. This is one of those sleeper colors that you really should have in your arsenal. I mean, it's just really pretty. I'm gonna start by going almost where that line is and then I'm gonna tilt it one way and kind of sprinkle and then I'm gonna tilt it the other way and kind of sprinkle. And that's really the easiest way it is for me to get a fade and they're never perfect. Like I said, you just wanna go for balance, but that's just what's nice for me. This next one is West Texas Glitter Pumpkin Pie, and I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna kinda aim for where that yellow and that orange come together, and then I'll twit, tilt one way and sprinkle, and tilt the other way and sprinkle. For the yellow, we're using Lemon from West Texas Glitter. We're gonna go pretty heavy right there on that rim. And then like with the rest, we're just gonna tilt it up and sprinkle until we're happy with what it looks like. And here's a little twirl action of all those colors together. For the tree line, this is just a silhouette, I believe, that I got off of Creative Fabrica. I have cut it out on HTV Raunt Black Permanent Vinyl. I really am digging that clear backing. I used the hinge method, kind of wrapped it around to make sure it fit, and I'm just going slowly, because you never know when those little branches or whatever's gonna come up on you, you're gonna get lumps and bumps. It's just part of it. But try to get it as smooth as you can and you want them to meet. This is one of those that it doesn't need to necessarily be seamless because it's going to look a little bit ragged anyways because all those little bits and pieces.
Once you get it placed, you wanna put a thin layer of epoxy to seal all that vinyl in. After that coat of epoxy, I decided I wanted to go ahead and spray paint this bottom just a matte black. I've lost the footage. Now we're gonna go in and get the decal ready. I did an offset of .030 with that holographic orange and the top that we're working on right now is a super deep navy blue. I'm gonna use a piece of parchment to line it all together and hopefully we can get it to work. Once you get it all set where you want it, I'm gonna use the hinge method. I'm gonna cut a little piece of it off, place it back on my tumbler, and then lift the rest of the backing up, and it just lays how you want it to. And once you get your decal all set, you wanna epoxy until smooth. And here we are. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope to see you next time. Bye.